GTA 5 free update just teased GTA 6 and fans are hyped. Sometimes we need to look at the past and eh, whatever. Uh, so the recent uh, update, Cluck and Bell Farm Raid, has potentially revealed a feature that will appear in the upcoming GTA 6. Before you dismiss the theory, let's take a lot at let's take a look at the OP about it, as there are many aspects of it that sound more than plausible. So in the, I don't even know how to put it, penultimate mission, disorganized crime, the way you do the mission will dictate how you approach the finale. If you kill the witnesses, remove the CCTV footage and silently sabotage the trucks, you will approach the raid silently. If you do otherwise, you will approach the raid aggressively. You said the P word correctly. Uh, they continue, this might be implemented into GTA 6's missions that will likely be branched much like some of, so it has branching paths. I'm not gonna lie, I've never actually done a GTA 5 raid. I don't really care about them. But I mean, do y'all care about this? Does this interest you? I'm more so interested in the story and kind of like the online functionality as a whole, but like raids don't really do anything for me. Um, I like the Fear Factor style videos. Yeah, they rap, they yap in this feature has been a thing for years. Shout out to the 500 we got in here. My friend, how are you? Why do people resubscribe to the idea of Shadow having a BBC? Only Sonic wields that type of power. Yo, shout out to Trill Outcast with the Thanks sub. Resub, pal. Now I can afford a retwist for my locks. Yo, shout out to Trill Outcast with the sub. I appreciate it. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. We did that. Did we do this? Yeah, we did the Star Wars is done downloading. Boy, quit looking at me. Um, oh, this was interesting. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I didn't read this one. Fallout TV series wasn't made to only appeal to game fans, creator says. Uh, da, 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 da. The upcoming Fallout TV series from Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy is not aiming to please fans and gamers. That's a crazy Someone statement. Just dropped an insane number of subs in the chat. Definitely going to use that extra cash to deep throat some chili dog. Yo, shout out to True with the five gifted subs. Um, I was watching your Rise and Run highlight video and these Sonic alerts had me cracking up. I don't know what y'all talking about. Instead, as a massive fan of the Fallout series himself, Nolan tried to make a show that made him happy and believed that he's achieved that. I don't think you can really set out to please the fans of, of anything, he said. <laughs> well, why make the show then? <laughs> it's because of like, you got to be careful with this type of stuff. It's because of the fans People who that exist. Make me happy. Sort of like when Rouge the Bat throws it back. Yo, shout out to Chef Negro with the sub. I get what he's saying. Like, it's not going to be a one to one. Uh, but you also can't dismiss the fans because the fans are what made this game popular enough to where it get a TV show. So I think when you do a live action adaptation, you do have to find that happy medium where you're trying to appeal to a more massive audience, but you also do appease the, fan, the fans. Um, or please, <laughs> that's the problem with the Avatar show. They were trying too hard to appease to the mainstream. He said, or please anyone other than yourself. I think you can have, you can come into this trying to make the show that you want to make. Interesting uh, that as the fans of the games ourselves, we would find the pieces that were essential to us and try to do the best version. Nolan is a huge fan of the Fallout series, starting with Fallout 3. The game devoured about a year of my life, he said. It almost derailed my entire career. It's so ludicrously playable and fun. Seriously, the games were just incredible, he said. The writer went on to say that he was similarly a huge fan of the Batman series before him and his brother Christopher made a trilogy of the Batman films. In fact, I don't know, does that have to do with anything? The Fallout TV series premieres April 11th on Prime Video in addition to Nolan Joyce Bethesda's Todd Howard was involved in production and informed the showrunners to avoid certain subjects that would be featured in the upcoming Fallout 5. Yeah, avoid Starfield. Uh, no, I agree with him. A lot of creators say I made something I would want to watch. Yeah, yeah, I get what he's saying. I, I agree with it to a degree. I think you shouldn't just be that dismissive of the fans, though. Because, like, if you go too far where you're just trying to appeal to the mainstream, that's when you get Avatar The Last Airbender. Because that was a show that was not made for fans if you watch that shit. That shit was not good. Um, you, have to find, you have to find that happy medium where there's some fan service, but it also can appeal to people who have, no, who have nothing, that know nothing about um, the games. I think, I think an example that did it was... Um, but the last of us the last of us are it was a pretty decent show i think it did a good job of like having that fan service but as somebody who played the games you could recognize there were certain things that were changed and those changes didn't make me mad they were clearly to help people understand what was going on you can you can find that balance just got to be a good show with tons of easter eggs in my opinion i feel that that's how you get dragon ball evolution dragon ball evolution <laughs> What is that? But I feel like since it's a new story in the Fallout universe and not really an adaptation of already existing Fallout story, there's more room for them to do what they want. Yeah, true, 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 true. I thought this was cool. Uh, apparently there's a mod 
for Dark Souls coming dark called Dark Souls Archstones. It just got a playable demo. And this this mod will have five new worlds, 17 new bosses, fully voice acted and side quests, new weapons and armor, and new mechanics. I thought this was pretty impressive. So if you like Souls like games, there's a new one on the on the horizon. Look at this shit. Welcome to the Nexus Lost Soul. The Arch Thrones require a great many souls, so that the linking of the fire may commence it. Stop hating Dragon Ball Evolution. Without it, you wouldn't get in Dragon Ball Super, lol. That is true. For those of you unaware, I know what you're talking about, too. For those of you unaware... The only reason Dragon Ball Super exists is because Toriyama saw Dragon Ball or Evolution and it made him so mad he got up off his ass and said, y'all are not going to shit on my legacy. So without, so in a way, Dragon Ball Evolution is a good thing. Without Dragon Ball Evolution, you would have not gotten the tournament of power. Uh, was, <laughs> you said, say it ain't so. No, that's a, that's a fact. Look it up. I saw it in a YouTube video and like they had like the quote in a magazine. He said it made him so fucking mad. He got up and he got inspired. Like sometimes that's what you need. He said that as a fact. Look it up. Uh, he's not lying in the chat. Um, so, yeah, Dragon Ball Evolution, sometimes a negative can turn into a positive. We learned that in math. It is a thing. Um, which, by the way, I saw a tweet yesterday that apparently Dragon Ball Super premiered like six years ago as of like yesterday or some shit like that. I was like, God damn, it's almost been like 10 years. Time really fucking flies, man. R.I.P. Toriyama. That's a crazy quote. Exactly. The hate is what got us there. Sometimes you got to hate to get somewhere. <laughs> That's a crazy quote. Sometimes you got to hate a nigga that really like hate will keep a little. It reminds me of um Storm. I think it was X-Men 2. She was having a conversation with them. What's that blue nigga's name? The one that be teleporting and farting. What is his name? Um, fucking. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The one with the rat tail. Uh nightcrawler yeah, yeah, yeah she was like he was talking about preaching about forgiveness or some shit like that and storm was like sometimes hate keeps you alive i'm paraphrasing she, i was like <laughs> it's the same shit like it just fuels you bro yo i hate let's go to youtube i fucking which by the way i don't know if y'all noticed thanks for knuckle fucking that follow button shout out for the follow um i don't know if y'all noticed but youtube i mean twitter is low-key oh you can't see it let me move my camera twitter is low-key coming for youtube I don't think they'll succeed, but I think they are trying to compete. I saw a tweet from the CEO of Twitter saying that the future of Twitter is video. Not only do you have the option to download it, but now I don't know if you noticed, but you can change like the quality and the playback speed. It's got like a full YouTube like player now. Uh, they've updated the video player. That makes me think they're they're doing some shit in the background. Let's go to YouTube and see if we can find because uh, they got to work on the compression though. They need like a new um a new code for their shit because like the compression is too much on Twitter. That's that's crazy to me. When you search when you search the game, Aspen Gold comes up before the game. That's crazy. <laughs> I do like seeing videos on Twitter compared to other apps because I already yeah, it is very convenient, and that's why I say low key. Twitter could can compete because I do enjoy watching videos on Twitter. It's an easy way to absorb information. It's just the video quality is so ass. It undersells the videos. The Nexus lost so. The arch thrones require a great many souls, so that the linking of the fire may commence it. They can beat with Vimeo. <laughs> this is a mod, but it's a full-blown new game. Does anybody know if this costs money or not? Is this free? Death does the Just high because this nigga resubscribed doesn't mean I have to subscribe to the idea that I contribute to black on black crime. Them. The second if amendment is the right it. to bear arms. I swear if on Maria's life, y'all niggas tripping. It looks good, like visually. We shall dance. It's a free mod? Nice. So it's gonna be better than Dark Souls 2. They combine Dark Souls and Demon Souls. Apparently, it has new mechanics in it. Like the character model does kind of look like the PS5 Demon Souls. New bosses and shit. You just need a clean install of D Dark Souls 3. 
fighting big ass demon dicks. That's crazy. I will ask though. Why did they make this a Dark Souls mod? Why not Elden Ring? I feel like they would I feel like they would get more um more traction because more people I don't want to say more, but I'm just assuming more because Elden Ring went mainstream. Because Dark Souls 3 is superior? <laughs> nah. I feel that. Hold up, I gotta clear my sinuses. I need a fucking tissue. Be here, be. You are my friend. Gotta go to horny jail, dude. Gotta go horny jail. <laughs> Fix your face. <laughs> <laughs> no mod, no rules. You got a big smile. I can smell your breath. It fucking stinks. <laughs> what a good guy. Um, they did the same thing for Sek Sekiro. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe they could. Did you see the video clip of <coughs> Sean Chimmel's voice actor of Goku talking about Akira Toyama? Nah. Uh... I'm sorry, did I miss anything important? I'm just looking at this Dark Souls joint. Um, here's another joint. <sighs> New Wonder Woman game under development and is being produced by the Gotham Knights developers. <coughs> so, this is not the Wonder Woman game that's being made by Monolith. Why? Yo, some water went down the wrong. <coughs> I hate when fucking water goes down the wrong pipe. This is not being made by Monolith. Those people made Shadow of Mordor. This is another Wonder Woman game. So now, <clears throat> now, not only are we getting two, was it Black Panther games, I think? We're getting two Wonder Woman games, bro. Let's read into this. Da -da -da -da. <clears throat> According to a job listing spotted by Tech for Gamers, the studio which is most recently helmed for Gotham Knights is working on the game. Wonder Woman, which is developed by Monolith Productions, will use the Nemesis system from their uh, acclaimed pair of Lord of the Rings title released during the generation. W.E. Montreal is known for Gotham Knights and Batman Arkham Origins. The latter of the two was well received by fans, but received little love publicly from the Arkham series originators Rocksteady. Monolith Productions has been staffing up for the game. Wait, is this the same game? Staffing up for the game for some time. A previous job ad caused many players to fear that the game would be a live service game rather than a traditional single player game. In a statement to IGN at the time, Warner denied that the game would be a live service game. Wait, they're combining forces with these niggas. Oh my God, it's not two games. I stand corrected. This is why you read the article, guys. What the fuck? The third person experience will allow players to become Diana and introduce an original Make story in the decent. Make me happy. Sort of like when Rouge the Bat throws it back. Yo, shout out to uh, Big K with the sub. Also featuring in Wonder Woman is not being so. Oh my God! Horrible headline title. Yeah, uh, yeah, they definitely. I, okay, so I'm not crazy. So what they tweeted versus what? Because in the headline of the article it says they're helping. It clearly states it's more accurate. In this one, it says they're developing. This this shit is clickbait as fuck, bro. That's why I thought it was a different one. So this is why it's important to read the article, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I just saw the headline. I saved the article, but we're reading it right now. So what's actually happening is there's not two, but the people who worked on Gotham Knights are being recruited to help Monolith make this game. <sighs> Your resub is cool, but honestly, there's only one ideology I resubscribe to, and that's Sonic's BBC. Shout out to Don with the sub. I appreciate you. This is, I would say it's a yellow flag. I would say it's not a red, and let me tell you why. 
what's their role? We don't know the role, right? <clears throat> it says in the article they're recruiting for help, right? So as long as Monolith, like the head of Monolith, is the one directing the game, and they're just using the talent to help them program and create the game, it should be fine. But if they're bringing them in and they're taking suggestions, then it's a red flag. We don't know. So I'm going to give this game the benefit of the doubt. It still should be okay because I'd imagine they're just bringing in more talent to help staff the place. They aren't creative directors at all. Okay, so yeah, this game should still be good. Programming a game and, and being creative are two completely different things, okay? Stop the cap, Amy. Amy's just keeping it real. But we definitely want to keep our eye on this, which, by the way, I just realized I have not been saving any of these fucking articles for the podcast notes uh, i should put that one on there was there anything else i should put on the podcast notes? i should be working on this now uh, let's see although we already have a lot gotham knights devs helping wonder was there anything else we talked today about the um oh let's see psvr2 halts Production. Uh, let's see. Apex. A. Yes, hacked. Um, I can always find the links later. I just need to. Oh, I can. You know what? Let me. Um, I can just go into my fucking DMs. I have everything saved. This is why I save everything. Oh, PS Pro. PS Five Pro. Uh, leaked specs messages let me go through and look at everything i had saved Beep beep beep. i should bring that up on the podcast just to mention it vow family sharing not really like a talking but some people are at least are aware of it um but re-release of anime minutes no wonder woman battlefront fallout tv series i think that's everything yes everything um we could throw the naughty dog <clears throat> Naughty Dog, Excalibur, game, D -D -D -D. okay, cool, we got it, all right, back to it, what up, uh, Mormon Thug, I don't think you're from Utah, uh, you can, you can hit control shift T to reopen tabs, would that automatically open everything, does Knuckles have any sub alerts, <clears throat> I got sub alerts for everybody, it's just all, random so there's no way to uh know which one you're gonna get i don't know why it does more than some more than others we did that uh for people still living in 2004 uh halo's two original live multiplayer servers are coming back online today thanks to a fan project one tab at a time really let me see can hit control shift t Oh, so it's like whatever was last closed. It's like undo. I didn't know that. Was, oh, shout out to y'all. Control shift T. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> um, what about the crocodile with the headphones? Huh? Yeah. If you guys care about this, you said it's still on Xbox. Want to play some Halo 2? I'm just go ahead and share this, you know, fan made project. If you want to get back into 2004 games. I don't really have any fucking um, interesting just play the master chief collection does that shit work now does that shit work we did that we did that oh this one was interesting <clears throat> the tides are turning ladies and gentlemen hell divers 2 players urge arrowhead to work on bugs fixes and not new content now i've been asking on this stream and people call me a hater i said i'm curious to see how long the hell divers 2 community will tolerate all the fuckery for this game just because they love it everything has a threshold well hell tivers 2 being one of the year's biggest games so far it's fair to say that it got off to a pretty rocky start while players around the world instantly fell in love with yeah we know <clears throat> as the game's player base continued to grow so did its servers issues developer arrowhead game studios worked tirelessly to rectify the issues and its dedication was heavily praised by fans thankfully these pesky server issues are a thing of the past which means arrowhead can now focus on balance adjustments and new content or does it <clears throat> hell divers 2 most recent patch was deployed on march 12th in which multiple balance adjustments were made <clears throat> had their head health wait charges had their head health lowered while spawn rates on bile titans and chargers were introduced on difficulty seven and up 
Shit, the game works fine for me. Friendly Fire and people kicking you out for no reason are my biggest issues with the game. Well, they're not going to change. Well, Friendly Fire is not an issue. That's an, that's an intentional mechanic. You just got to deal with that. Man, when Power World dropping new content. Soon. They just announced the... um. They just announced the raid. I think I showed it on the last stream. Let me see. Power World raid. We should, I guess we can go in the sub box too. That's Power News. Yeah, three days ago, I dropped the trailer. Ba -da -ba. Official raid battle. I got a black screen when I booted up Helldivers. Nope, it's just your setup, bro. It's coming, guys. Get your pals out. Woo! Y'all like that? Now he's been AFK from Discord and streams for a minute. All good. Uh, but yeah, let's see, people. Just because this nigga resubscribed doesn't mean I have to subscribe to the idea that I contribute to black on black crime. The Second Amendment is the right to bear arms. Over the hell, Dyer subreddit, a post by the user has urged Arrowhead Game Studios to focus more on bug fixes and less on new content. The game is fun, but we need a bug fix patch more than content. I love content as much as the next gamer, but if Arrowhead can't handle working on bug fixes concurrently with the content, I really think they need to take a step back and focus on known issues for at least one patch. I agree. But you can't say this because people like the games. Shut up. It's just your setup. That's like the common like kickback I see. Shut up. It's just your setup. All right, bro. I'm playing on a PS5. <laughs> I think Shadows Alerts are the best ones. I don't know what you're talking about. The user then went on to a list of pl a plethora of issues that are yet to be fixed by Arrowhead. Flamethrowers, mechs dropping and broken, black screens and getting stuck behind doors are just some of the many issues. Reddit user Miss L said they're getting really tired of reassigning their settings every time. Damn, it got the same issue as 2K. Or you, you log in and like and your settings are always changed, so you gotta go back and change them. Very interesting to see the tides turning on the subreddit. Hmm. How y'all feel about this? A good game, you know. I just think, you know, nobody's above criticism, but you know, it's just my setup, I guess. Just my setup. <clears throat> Did you see the viral clip of The Rock taking aim at Ja Morant? Would love to see your reaction. Why is he talking about Ja Morant? That's random. Let's see. Rock. It's not bad, Rock. Ja Morant. Is this him? Is this it? Rock calls out Ja Morant for Cody Rhodes. But is this some wrestling shit, nigga? Hey, Ronan, I'm about to ban you if this is some fucking wrestling shit. Hold up, y'all. Of course, I'm looking forward to the Elder Ring DLC. Ronan, you're banned from posting any more. No more links, Ronan. No more. No more. I told you I don't care nothing about this baby oil shit, nigga. You're banned. Uh, this is what we happens when we introduce wrestling to a non-wrestling person. Yeah, I'm not into it. Like I was into it when I was like in middle school, but like it's just not my thing. If y'all like it, I'm not mad at it. I never. I'm not like a party pooper. If you like wrestling, I'm not mad at it. It's just not my thing, bro. I don't. I do not want to hear this egghead ass nigga sing. Um, let's go to the sub box. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba -ba. Gotta get ready for WrestleMania. Um, let me turn my shit back on. Yeah, this nigga exiled from posting links for the day. Any interesting things we got? Dun, 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 dun. I don't see nothing. Warzone Mobile. I don't care about that. PayPal Exposed. Glit, the Nintendo Switch trailer. What is this? Oh, I see Monkey Man in your trailer. There's a Monkey Man trailer. The fuck is this thing doing behind the official nah, i don't care about behind i thought it was a new trailer i don't care about behind the scenes i'm just waiting for the movie to come out uh this man all on my damn screen have you ever used an rss feed for gaming news yeah that's what um <clears throat> that's what uh feedly is it's an rss feed uh but even still i'll check other sources like i have some ai news apps that like suggest me things um also like this morning i used meta's uh ai to like feed me articles and like there was stuff in there that wasn't in my rss feed so like i have like four or five different news apps that i check because like often you'll find different stuff on them but one of them is rss feed which is feedly um you see the new fatal fury trailer nah i'll check it out 
Did you see how the American Society of Magic Negroes only made a million dollars? Good. Fuck that movie. Let's see. Magic Negroes. <laughs> Ticket. Ticket sales. The American Society of Magic Negroes bombs at the box office. Uh, its debut weekend only grows to 1.25 million. What is the Magical Negroes? It's a movie about a secret society of black magicians. And wait for it. Are they superheroes? No. Do they run some type of school like the black version of Hogwarts and do good? No. These Negroes use their magic to please white people. So basically, it's like, think of 12 years a slave inside the Clover Kingdom. If you, <laughs> if you don't know what the Clover Kingdom is, it's from Black Clover. So think of 12 years a slave meets Black Clover. Fuck this movie, bro. It's one of the worst. You rarely hear me say this shit. Like, I think Madam Web is fucking funny. Like, it's bad, but it's fucking funny. But honestly, I'm so sick and tired of this shit, bro. Yeah, that's let's keep it a buck. The 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 American Society of Magical Coons. That's what this shit is, bro. I don't want none of this shit. Don't bring Black Clover into this. You're right, because I love Black Clover, but I was just trying to give an example of what I meant. This is the American Society of fucking magic coons i do not want to see this shit it's sitting at a 30 percent rotten it's just such an awkward movie for everybody across the board whether you're black white asian whatever dude i don't want to see this shit dude this is one of the movies where like it's really bad but i'm not watching it it's so it made a million do you understand how bad this is like what was the budget for this how do you let me type this out uh, do, 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 do. come on bro what the fuck i'm trying to copy this shit copy Let's see, budget for, I never heard of this. Look up the trailer on YouTube. There's no, there's not even any details on the budget, bro. The numbers. There's no budget. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's, it's just not good, man. Like, I don't, it's one of those things like, who's the demographic for this? Like, why make this if you're black? It's fucking embarrassing, man. Let's say, like, do y'all see what I'm talking about when I say I'm tired of drug dealer TV shows and movies. I'm tired of slave movies. I'm just tired of all this. What, what I, it was Vince Staples, I think, said it like Vince Staples. He said something along the lines of like black Americans have become obsessed with like selling their trauma. And I agree with that shit, bro. This ain't the white man. Like, <laughs> like, stop. We don't have to do this shit no more, bro. Stop. <laughs> it's fucking horrible the shit on voodoo but they stole it and called it black magic and then the creator said if you don't like the satire behind it you weren't smart yeah like there's such things as bad comedy like it's supposed to be satirical but it's just not funny we're doing it to our ourselves at this point that's what i'm saying bro like i don't like this shit like can we can we can we get a good movie like that's why i think what's the name was so important a movie like um get out even though it was a race related movie, it wasn't like your typical shit. It was like a horror movie. It was innovative. Stuff like that is important. Like, go support that shit, bro. It showed the budget. Go back. I don't even care anymore. Fuck this shit, bro. Yeah, this this movie deserved to fail. It deserved to fail. This, this I don't know how this made it out of the cutting room floor, like the script, other than whoever funded it was probably just like, let me check off a box for this year's diversity hires. Um,. Snowfall was good because it wasn't scared to cross the line. Snowfall had good acting, but then like I feel conflicted about shows like Snowfall because it's like on one hand, it's like I watched up to like season two and it was a good show. But then I feel conflicted about it because I feel like a lot of people watch that shit and they watch it with kind of their brain turned off and like they're just trying to be entertained. But for me, I watch it and I'm like, I get it's entertaining. But do like, I feel like a lot of Americans don't understand. Like you realize Snowfall is based on a true story. Like there are unclassified, and by the way, for the millionth time, I've never been suicidal. There are unclassified documents that the CIA funded Nicaragua, Nico, I, cannot, I can never pronounce that. Nicaragua, their Contras, and in order so that they could overthrow their government. And in order to overthrow their government, they needed money for weapons. So what did they do? They started selling drugs. And where did those drugs end up? In our neighborhoods. 
there's there's unclassified documents about this. It's not a joke. It's not a <laughs> yeah, nigga walk. <laughs> It's not a joke. It's not a conspiracy. It is a real thing. This is why if you ask niggas who they top five worst presidents are, if I line 10 black people up, most of them, I'd say eight out of 10 black people, probably 10 out of 10 would say Ronald Reagan is the devil. He's number one because he, he almost single-handedly destroyed the black family structure. <laughs> so like when I watch Snowfall, I'm like, yeah, the acting is good, but I'm like, yo, you guys know this is based off a real story. This shit is not really entertaining to me. It's not funny. Like, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. And it's like, at what point are we going to say, you know, I, I just, I guess it's kind of like, um, you know how I say on stream, I feel like no black person in America should have to pay for uh, a DNA test. You don't get to take my people from the land, enslave us, bring us over, free us wash as far our history and then tell me I got to pay for a DNA test. No, if I'm black, I feel like I should get it for free. It's kind of like the same thing. You don't get to, you don't get to fucking traumatize me and then try to entertain me with my trauma. Like, nah, I'm good off that. He said BMS is based on a true story also. Yeah, and I get it. Like people think it's like entertaining. I guess I just seen enough. I feel like if you've seen the wire, I don't need to watch BMF. I don't need to watch snowfall. That's kind of where I'm at mentally. I, I just want to see more positive stuff. And then, and then I think we can go back. I just feel like there's a lack of balance. I feel like there's a lack of balance. I feel like we need to see more positive things and then we can go back to that. But until we find balance, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like the black community ever since fucking MLK and Malcolm X died, it's almost like when Aang went in that damn ice cube and disappeared for a hundred years. Like the Fire Nation attacked and we've been, we've been in trouble ever since we need the we need the nigga avatar to come back bro and restore balance to this bitch uh i'm about to start start a show on apple tv called severance i'm about to start a show like you actually got a deal like you're a writer or something it's like that episode of the boondocks chill t based the fbi watching hey i say it on stream all the time i've never been suicidal so we already got the hood avatar from rdc <laughs> all right bro